This video will provide a simplified overview of how tax on dividends are calculated. For the complete process, be sure to consult with a licensed tax professional. To correct for the problem of double taxation, two critical steps are included in the calculation process. One, the gross-up, and two, the application of dividend tax credits. To illustrate this process, meet Bob, a shareholder of Acme Corporation. This year, he received $1,000 in dividends. 1. The Gross-Up As part of calculating Bob's dividends, his dividend income is first grossed up. A gross-up is a theoretical amount of income that is added to Bob's dividends. The gross-up is calculated based on a percentage value that is determined by the government. Remember, Bob does not receive the gross-up amount as dividends, it's just a theoretical amount. Suppose the government decides that for this year, the gross-up on dividends will be 20%. Thus, Bob's dividend income will be grossed up to $1,200. If Bob's marginal tax rate is 15%, he would be taxed $180 on this grossed up income of $1,200. 2. The Dividend Tax Credits Let's say that Bob's combined federal and provincial dividend tax credits comes to 12.5%. When applied to his grossed up amount, that creates a dividend tax credit of $150. So if we look at Bob's net tax payable, it would be the result of his grossed up amount minus his dividend tax credits, which would be $180 minus $150 for a total of just $30 of tax payable. Remember, this was a simplified overview of the process. For the complete process, be sure to consult with a licensed tax professional.